Pasang kongkres ha ka jelah mekhlia kala penerim ya ki kam teri turti ya ka jingtai ya ka shenrong pelun ne kedum ha ka ying dorbar tau an bat temai kabadun ha mau diang diang kabadai pej da ka suarkar MDI ha ka jelah palalam kemat da ka NPP bat ka UDP kasang kongkres ka buk jingkli mano bat shano kita kisah engineers jong katanat PWD kibadun balaban syed ya ki ban monitor ya ka quality of works Hakaju kapur kaseng kadon kajing suba bakane baro kawan jana mar bakate ka company kabana barjela kayo banlek kun kadu na kita ki babat ya ulakam jong ka platka has secretariat meklia legislative assembly hakbale se wat ki engineer kimnut syu ban saham lane ban ang watang sikintiru hakmat jong ka ka company barjela walaki don makana ka mensim ban trehok ya kakam Dina kata kata baka rajkia nirman nigam LTD kayo ban yurut lek kat bamon namar bakam dai ka jelala jong uba PNS imbat ka diboram marak kilapen sngau balada kita kin rop hungut kin nong nikmat ka ba upai ba ulapen kubor yaki ban lek thau an ham meklia legislative assembly kinut ban bu jingma wat ya kata ka ying dorbar thau an tang namar ka tengkap ya Shano kan yalam ya kalawe jong ka jelahi barok kawe ka sengkong kres ka dawana ka sorkar jela padai ban ai dak sniu blacklist no shisndon ya ka raj kia nirman nigam ltd bat pensange ya ka ka company pensngo uba pnsm so yeah they very specific agenda that want to give a statement today it is about the, the collapse of the dome of the legislative assembly in the new building at new shit It is very sad not only for the Congress party, but for the state as well. To see that the dome of the Legislative Assembly building has been collapsed. Let us uh, look at the uh, background, right from the day one, when the tender has been allowed. I would like to remind all of you that, that after the tender has been called, We understand that the tender fix is 145 points. But we fail to understand that the UP based company, RNN Limited, has quoted it at 127 crore, a difference by 18 crores. We also understand that the BRC company, the BRC Limited, has also participated in the tender process. But it has been rejected because of the inexplicable construction of boom. But it is very conflicting to see that the company that has been rejected because because of inexperience for the construction of doom has been allowed as a subcontract. That is very conflict. So the point is, the question is, how the company that has been participated in the tendering process, which has been rejected, but still considered allowed to go as a subcontract of the UP-based company, RNN Limited. See, I think you understand that the design has been prepared by the IIT Roti, the best IIT in India. We cannot blame the design that has been prepared by the IIT Roti. The point is how the company that put the very minimum rate one of the has been allotted. <coughs> Number two, allotted at 127 crore. We understand that it has been revised. The first revision is 181 crore from 127 crore. The best company participated during the process has been denied. But the amount of has gone up to 181 crore. The second revision, more than 200 crore. I see from the uh, clarification from the building department that 170 crore has been released out of 14 crore. We fail to understand that such a huge amount that still we have a very poor quality of construction. So this is uh, the very sad news for me as the state as a whole. We are so confused because the engineer now has been Uh, to be considered as the candidate of MEP from the national government. So many questions, big question mark. 
right from the day one till yesterday when the room is not ours. So we from the Congress Party, we believe only in the invoice. The state government, along with the central agency, should come up with a very inquiry so that everything should be exposed. Let the people know whether it is right or it is wrong. We feel to understand that. I feel very sad for the speaker of the Lok Sabha. Coming here to Shillong to be said and consider one that for them. But the wonderful that has been considered by the Lok Sabha speaker it seems that like it is only a wastage of money. So we the Congress Party, we want to see that the state government should constitute an inquiry. It will be good if the central agency will come to inquire on all the dispute among. So that anyone who is involved in this very particular project should be punished. And the member of the Legislative Assembly attending the session, we lost how many lives? It's not only a corruption, it is an issue of risk to life of the people. So that's why the Congress Party, we are not speaking politics on this issue. We want to speak the truth that the people should know. It is not only the first <coughs> incident. Just recently we have seen that ISTBT at Maoyong, the poor quality of construction, the bridge, Collapse one after another. It will be a very big problem for the state as a whole in the future. One issue after another issue, the executive has failed to <coughs> fulfill the expectation of the people. The high court he has to come in front to ask the question of bridge, to ask the question of cleanliness, the quality of the building. So many issues, it seems that the executive has lost the track. Judiciary has come for what? So we as the Congress Party, we feel that the inquiry should be considered. It will be more advisable if the central agency come and uh, inquire on all these issues. So there are a few things that we are going to brief you uh, during this time. Because if we have failed in the construction of the assembly building, it has been collapsed. So all the work allotted to them should be stopped. And it also should be blacklisted. That is very much important. Because uh, you will put the life of the people in problem. So if they are involved in the construction of bridge, building, and other project, it will put, uh, put the life of the people at risk. So it should be stopped, it should be blacklisted.